Hey guys, this is Brad with Cryer Mobile Detailing. I'm heading back up to Blue Ridge today. Um, of course, I make a, this is one of the reasons I love coming up here. I made a stop to Bucky's, get some gas, get my brisket and egg taco, and then uh, probably another 15, 20 minutes over to my buddy Michael's shop. Uh, probably going to be the next two days for this boat. It's, I'll show it when we get there, but it's, uh, it's really, it's a big boat. It's nice. He just got here at six this morning. Him and his dad drove round trip from Texas all the way to Rhode Island to pick it up. And we're supposed to get home about one last, one in the morning. And I guess they had a couple issues, blowouts or whatnot. So, uh, I'll try to keep it down. He's been up for over 30 hours straight, so I'm just going to get over there, get started cleaning, um, prepping the boat today, and I'm waiting on a shipment from Glidecoat for all the products to do the boat with um, that'll be here this afternoon. So uh, I have a bunch of pads ordered, all my ceramics and stuff, so that won't be here till this afternoon when I get back home. So I'll come back up tomorrow, finish the project, but uh, today should be a good day just cleaning it and prepping it and getting ready. So uh, got another 20 minutes or so till I get to Blue Ridge and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I finally made it up here to Blue Ridge uh, to Michael's shop and I'm getting a look at the boat for the first time. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a 2004, I believe, Outer Limits 37 GTX. It's a monster. Really pretty. Uh, like I said, today I'm just going to wash it and um, prep it, probably do some clay bar do and everything. And then tomorrow I'll come back up and do the polish and uh, install the ceramic coating. So. I'll give you a close-up of the boat, and then we'll get started. As I took some readings of the uh, gloss meters, we're riding about 81, 86, 78, so it's in pretty good shape. Um, we'll test it again after we do the prep, and then we'll test it one more time after we ceramic coat it and just get the different readings so I can offer this customer an 18 month um, warranty from Glidecoat.
just wrapping up day one. Uh, still have a whole other day. Michael has to get this boat down to Conroe, Texas for um, maintenance on it. He just got it, so he needs this mechanic to check it out. So I have two full days to prep the boat. Um, so today I washed it, um, decontaminated it. Tomorrow I will do a two-step polish or a compound dental polish and then uh, I'll follow up with the ceramic coating. So it'll be, I'll get here early. It'll be a long day, but it um, be nice to get it done in two days. But I think it turned out pretty good today. Um, I'll do a little walk around and show you what got done, and then uh, we still got some work to do tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day two of um, doing the outer limit ceramic coating. So yesterday I prepped the boat other than compounding and polishing, but I washed it, decontaminated it. So today I'm going to start off with a, uh, I'm going to use all glide coat products today. It's a glide coat nano compound. It's a medium compound and I'll use that on their maroon medium cut pads then I'll follow that up with uh, glide coat nano polish and I'll use that on the yellow polishing pads once I do that I'll use the glide coat surface wipe to get rid of any of the residue and get it ready for the ceramic coating which today I'm going to use uh, glide coat pro marine got 500 milliliters of this so you have a part A and a part B and you mix these two together and it'll cure in about 6 to 12 hours a lot faster than um, the DIY products they sell uh, let's see after that on the transom I'm gonna use the exhaust ceramic coating and I'll add this on top of the ceramic coating because this doesn't contain any UV protectants in it. So uh, it's oleophobic, I believe the name of it, it is the name of it. And um, it helps to uh, keep the soot and the exhaust, make it a lot easier to clean, um, oil resistant. And then I'm going to use this for the first time too on the interior on the seats is this vinyl ceramic coating by Glide Coat. So I think that about covers what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to compound, polish, surface wipe, add two coats of the Pro Marine, and then the exhaust ceramic. I'm going to add on the transom, and then I'm going to ceramic coat the seat. So I guess we better get to it.
called an audible and I'm uh, going to have to come out here for day three. Yesterday I was here for about ten and a half hours and still have four or five hours left. I was able to get the uh, right side of the boat, um, one coat and uh, transom coated, but I still have a lot of work left to do so um, we just decided it was getting late and you start getting over 10-11 hours of uh, straight work and you might make a few mistakes. So came back out here today, day three. So um, let's get going and finish this thing up. the other were about seven but um, it was a job but man did it turn out good um, I still have to take a towel with some um, panel wipe just a little bit on there to get all the footprints off the top that uh, where I was walking around and stuff but uh, she turned out beautiful um, so I did a two-step I did a compound to polish did a uh, the Ceramic Pro Glide Coat. Back here on the back side, I did uh, the exhaust ceramic. I did the ceramic for the vinyl on the seats. Um, I'm probably forgetting something, but it, it was a full job, but it turned out really good. I think you'll get quite a bit of usage out of this uh, ceramic. It went on really well. So um, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you guys again, and if you enjoy this kind of content, uh, think about subscribing to my channel, and uh, I'll bring more of it to you. So, thanks for watching.